day everyone! For today's video, pag-aaralan natin kung paano mag-prove ng triangle congruence using two column form. Para mas madali sa inyo na mag-prove, kailangan familiar kayo sa mga definition, theorem, and postulates sa geometry. So, sa triangle, uh, so since triangle congruence ang ating pinag-uusapan, Ibibigay ko sa inyo ang ilan sa mga ginagamit natin sa pagpuprove ng triangle congruence. So, syempre, unang-una na dito, dapat alam nyo yung triangle congruence postulates and theorem. So, SAS, ASA, SSS, and AES. Number two, pag may na-encounter kayo na... Share side and share angle. So, when something is equal to itself, so, you apply nyo po doon yung reflexive property. Next, kapag ka meron kayong point, uh, a point on a line segment that divides it into two equal parts, so, ang i-apply nyo naman po doon ay definition of a midpoint. And then, kapag ka si line or si ray, hinati niya ang isang angle into two equal angles. So, gagamit naman po kayo doon na definition of angle bisector. Number five, so, a line re or, or segment which cuts another line segment into two equal parts. So, definition of segment bisector. And then, kapag kang each pairs of opposite angles made by two intersecting lines, so, definition of vertical angles. At sa vertical angles theorem, so vertical angles are always congruent. And then, if two segments are perpendicular, then they form right angles. So, definition of perpendicular segments. At tatandaan nyo, all right angles are congruent. So, yan lang po or yan lang po yung iilan sa mga ginagamit natin sa pagpuprove ng triangle congruence. So, i-apply natin yan sa ating uh, gagawin ngayong araw. So, in trying, uh, improving triangle congruence using uh, two column form, kailangan lang natin ng statements at saka reason. So, ilalagay natin yung mga statements at kung ano yung kanyang reason. So, para sa number one, Ito ang ating given. So, we have segment JA is congruent to segment JL. Y is the midpoint of segment AL. So, let's prove that triangle J is congruent to triangle JLY. So, meron ako ditong uh, bol, iba pang ball pen na may kulay. So, pag ka nagpo-prove tayo ng triangle congruence, mas magandang magmark tayo ng uh, ating pictures or ating figure para mas madali nating makuha yung statements at saka yung reason at para mas madali nating i-prove yung dalawang triangle. So, ang ipo-prove natin si triangle J Ipo-prove natin na si triangle J I can ruin kay triangle GLY. So, i-prove natin silang dalawa. Yan. So, ating given, si segment JA is congruent to segment JL. So, markahan natin siya. So, lagyan natin siya ng, so, yan yung ating statements number one. So, segment JA is congruent to segment JL. So, ang reason natin, given. Okay, next given natin, Y is the midpoint of AL. So, si Y, si point Y ay midpoint ng segment AL. So, given din natin siya. So, Y is the midpoint of segment AL. Yan. So, given. Okay. Number 3. So, since si Y ay midpoint ni segment AL, so, i-apply natin dyan yung definition of a midpoint. So, ibig sabihin, C 
si segment AY ay congruent kay segment LY. So, definition of a midpoint. Okay, next. So, meron na tayong dalawang sides dyan na congruent sila. So, meron pa tayong kulang na isa. Ayan, kung napapansin nyo, meron tayo ditong shared uh, side. Ayan. So, i-apply natin dyan yung reflexive property. Na kung saan si JY ay congruent kay JY. Ayan. So, sa ating final statement, mapuprove na natin na si triangle J ay congruent kay triangle JLY by SSS congruence postulate. Since lahat ng sides nila ay congruent sa isa't isa. So, si segment JA congruent kay segment JL si segment AY congruent kay segment LY as si segment JA ay congruent kay segment JY ayan so natapos na natin yung number 1 so ayan po yung ating sagot so na prove na natin na si triangle J ay congruent kay triangle JLY using SSS congruence postulate So, that's sub number 2. So, ang given natin, segment GY is uh, perpendicular to segment AL. Y is the midpoint of segment A AL. So, let's prove that triangle J is congruent to triangle GLY. So, prove natin na si triangle J ay congruent kay triangle GLY. J G, L, Y Ayan So, given natin So, G, Y is perpendicular to A, L So, segment G, Y is perpendicular to segment A, L So, ayan siya Then, another given So, Y is the midpoint of segment AL. So, this is the given. So, si Y ay uh, midpoint na ating segment AL. So, given. So, balik muna tayo sa number 1. So, si JY ay perpendicular kay AL. Diba kapag ka Uh, ang line natin or ang segment natin ay perpendicular so may mabubuo tayong right angles ayan so angle JYA is uh, and angle GYL are right angles So, ang reason natin dyan, definition of perpendicular segments. So, ayan. So, pagka ang dalawang segments ay perpendicular, so, they form right angles. So, mayroon na tayong nabuong right angles. And since si angle G, Y, A, at si angle JYL ay right triangle. So, ibig sabihin, congruent sila. JYL. So, all right angles are congruent. Ayan. Okay, next. So, meron tayong midpoint dyan. So, si Y ay midpoint ni segment AL. So, ibig sabihin, si AY ay congruent kay LY. So, segment AY is congruent to segment LY. So, by definition of a midpoint. Okay, next. Meron, na ulit, meron ulit tayo ditong share side, which is GY. 
So, apply natin yung reflexive property. So, GY is congruent to segment JY. So, reflexive property. So, mapuprove na ba natin na si triangle J ay congruent kay triangle JLY? Opo. So, si triangle J ay congruent kay triangle JLY by SAS congruence postulate. Since, yung dalawang sides at isang included angle ni triangle J ay congruent sa dalawang side at isang included angle ni triangle JLY. So, ibig sabihin, congruent po sila. So, they are congruent by SAS congruence postulate. Yun po. So, the sub number 3. So, ang given natin, <coughs> angle A is congruent to angle L. Angle JYA and angle JYL are right angles. So, prove that triangle J is congruent to triangle JLY. So, i-prove natin na si triangle J ay congruent kay triangle JLY. Yep, mag-drawing. Ah, mag-kulay. So, ang given natin... Angle A is congruent to angle L. So, angle A is congruent to angle L. So, that is our given. Number 2, angle JYA and angle JYL are right angles. So, that will be our given again. And, and since uh, C angle JYA at si angle JYL ay right angles so alam naman natin na sila ay congruent JYA is congruent to angle JYL so ang reason natin dyan all right angles are congruent okay, meron na naman tayong shared sides so ito So, ibig sabihin, apply natin dyan yung reflexive property na si, na si segment GY ay congruent kay segment GY. So, by uh, reason natin, reflexive property. So, makakabuo na ba tayo ng uh, reason para masabi natin na si triangle J ay congruent kay triangle JLY? Yes po. So, si triangle J ay congruent kay triangle JLY by AAS congruence theorem. Since, yung dalawang, include, uh, dalawang angles ni triangle J ay congruent sa dalawang angles ni triangle JLY at yung non-included side nila, ayan, ay congruent din. So, triangle J is congruent to triangle JLY by AS congruence theorem. So, number 4, ang given natin ay GY by sec angle AGL. Angle GYE and angle GYL are right angles. So, prove that triangle J is congruent to triangle JLY. So, statements and reasons. So, i-prove daw natin na si triangle J ay congruent kay triangle JLY. At ang given natin, JY by sex angle EGL. So, ito yung ating given. So, G, uh, GY by sec angle EJL. So, ang uh, next, angle, G, uh, angle GYE and angle GYL are right angles. So, given ulit natin. So, sa number 3. So, meron tayo dito ang GY by sec angle EGL. So, GY by sec angle EGL. So, pagka ang 
ating line ay ang ating angle na bisect or nahati sa dalawa makakabuo po tayo ng dalawang angles na congruent so ibig sabihin si angle AJY ay congruent kay angle LJY LJY so LJY so AJY ay congruent kay LJY so definition of angle bisector so ito po congruent yan so dahil may bisector tayo dito si JY so nakabuo tayo ng dalawang angles na congruent so which is AJY is congruent to angle LJY so definition of angle bisector key number 4 so meron tayo dito ang dalawang right angles So, alam naman natin na lahat ng right angles ay congruent. So, ibig sabihin, sa angle JYE ay congruent kay angle JYL. So, all right angles are congruent. So, meron na naman po tayong nakitang share side. So, big sabihin, si JY ay congruent kay segment JY. So, ang ating reason dyan ay reflexive property. So, pag mayroon tayong shear side or shear angle, automatic reflexive property ang reasons natin doon. So, mapuprove na ba natin na si triangle J ay congruent kay tri triangle JLY? Yes po. So, si triangle J ay congruent kay triangle JLY by ASA congruence postulate. Since si triangle, uh, since yung dalawang sa, uh, angles at isang included side, ni triangle J ay congruent sa dalawang angles at isang include, included sides ni triangle JLY. So, therefore, they are congruent. So, ayan po. Ganun lang po kadali kung paano mag-fruit ng triangle congruence gamit ang two column form. So, kailangan ista nyo lang lahat ng statements at yung kanyang reasons. So, para ma-prove natin na ang dalawang triangles ay congruent, mas maganda minamarkan po natin yung bawat figure. Para mas madali natin makita kung anong postulate or theorem yung gagamitin. Ayan. So, sana meron kayong natutunan sa araw na ito. Thank you for watching! Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Until next time!